Hello curls, it's Yolanda Renee and today we are going to be doing a quick, well not really quick, I shouldn't say quick, <laughs> we're going to be doing a makeup tutorial. I've been asked to do one even though I am not a makeup guru or enthusiast, like I feel like I suck at makeup, um, but I do try to be my own glam squad, so I do want to come to you guys with this tutorial. Alright, so the first product I want to highlight is the MAC Prep and Prime the studio fix liquid foundation the new brush that I have been using is the real techniques um, contour brush which is amazing this is from their bold um, metals collection and I love it look at it it's so perfect it's the brush the bristles are so soft like oh my god it's like puppy soft and um and then just the shape of it, so good to really get your contour perfect and it's even small enough to do your nose as well. So yeah, I love this thing. Did I just really put some more? <laughs> Alright, um, so yeah. Um, oh, and then also another product that I want to show you is, are the um, Ardell Wispy Lashes in 120 from Ulta. So, those are all the main products. We're going to start by adding a moisturizer to our face. Um, this will make sure that our, our face is not ashy or too dry. Then we're going to go in with a primer, which I'm using MAC Prep and Prime. The layering process is moisturizer, primer, and then foundation. Remember that. But we're going to get our brows taken care of first. For my brows, I use Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown. And I'm also using their brow um, brush and spoolie thing, whatever it's called. <laughs> so I start off with just lightly doing brush strokes to make my brows look as natural as possible, which I kind of fail at sometimes, but I'm trying to do better. Now we're going to move on to the other eyebrow, which is a pain in the butt because it's hard to get your brows to look exactly the same. But just play around a little bit. This is the NYX Full Coverage Concealer. And I forgot the color. I think it's tan, CJ107. And this stuff, it, you have to get it close to your complexion because you don't want to look like, you know, you have highlight all around your eyebrows. And this concealer is going to make your brows look like perfection. Once you're done cleaning up your brows, you want to use your fingertips to blend out the concealer. Using your fingertips is ideal because, you know, your body temperature helps to melt that product into your skin. And then I use a beauty blender to even out the concealer under my eyes. Now, this is the star of the show. This is MAC Studio Fix Liquid Foundation, and I use NC50, which is a little bit dark, but I'm telling you, this foundation is amazing. It, like, upped my makeup game, like, so much. The brush I'm using is a MAC 128 brush, and it's perfect because there's uh, two sides to it. The darker side is for your foundation. The lighter side is for your highlight, so you won't forget which side has what product on it. So I use this a darker shade because the concealer I'm going to be using is going to be totally too bright. So mixing these two that are, you know, too light and too dark makes the perfect foundation for me, you guys you have to invest in this MAC foundation. I love it. This is the concealer I was talking about. And I think this is an NC30. It's really light. But again, once I blend this in with the darker foundation, it's going to blend and look like so perfect. I love it. With the same brush, but on the light side, we're going to start blending this into our skin and into our darker foundation. So just be very, you know, light brush strokes, pat it in and then blend it out.
And I'm also going to be using another brush, which is my Real Techniques face brush. That's also going to help buff this foundation and concealer together. So what do you think? I think that's pretty blended. I'm, you know, I'm okay with this. <laughs> Before we finish our makeup, I'm going to go ahead and pour out a little bit of my Duo um, Lash Adhesive on my eyelash tray. That way the, um, the glue can start getting tacky before we start, you know, putting on our lashes. Okay, so I kind of missed a little step, but I am using my Real Techniques contouring brush from their Real Metals collection, which is fabulous. And I'm also using my NW45 um, powder foundation to add a contour to my face. I also use my um, concealer crayon to add the highlight on the bridge of my nose. And now we are going in with our Real powder foundation which is um i think it's the nw40 i don't even remember what color my powder is but i'm going to use the powder all over to really blend everything out and finally we are done with our face yes to add a little bit of color to our face i am going to use this kind of like rose blush from bh cosmetics and then we are ready for lashes. Are you ready for lashes? <laughs> but I'll do a more in-depth tutorial on lashes next. But we're going to just do this really quickly. Um, you basically just place the lashes in the center of your, um, your lash line because that will anchor down the lash. And then you just, you, you know, you want to anchor down both ends of the lash. And then everything else should fall into place. Um, I like to use my tweezers to make sure that they are secure. Sometimes I use like a eyeliner pencil just to tap and roll up just to make sure that they are really secure. My favorite lashes are Ardell Demi Lashes, which are 120. They're very natural looking and I absolutely love them. Now this may be a little bit backwards, but I'm going to use my MAC 217 brush, which is their blending brush for eyeshadow. And I'm going to use my Naked palette and I'm going to use the color, oh shoot, what is it called? Buck. It's called Buck. It's a very natural looking color, neutral, really blends it out just to make it look nice and pretty instead of it just being, you know, just a flesh tone. Now it is time to pick out our lippy. Yes. Our Smoke Purple. We have Rebel. And we have Sin. And I don't know which one to pick. So these are the three colors that we have to choose from. Hmm. I think we're going to go with Sin. And we're going to use... We're going to use Night Moth Lip Pencil. So this is going to be a dark lip. So very um, chill um, look. Definitely a made up look. But we're going to do a bold, bold, bold lip, you guys. I'm way sure I threw on my lip. I'm not going to put chat stick. So we're going to line our lips first all over. So now this is um, Sin. It's very, very matte and dry. So then get your lip pencil again because you may have to clean it up. I think I got it. Okay. What else? I have another one. What is it? Not smoke purple. I'm gonna put a little bit of rebel on because rebel is more it's a satin, so this will make it less matte. So I just put a little bit of rebel on top of it. Alright, so now we need to put some mascara on 
just a little bit no liner because i want my eyes not to be too dramatic since our lips are so dark so this is lash accelerator and then i'm going to put it on my bottom lashes These are very natural looking lashes, so I'm going to just use a lash curler. The next thing I'm going to do is use a little bit of a, um, a finishing spray just so it won't look so dry. this is the final look hopefully it's not like too in your face i'm gonna go but i hope you guys love this tutorial if you have any questions please let me know and thank you guys so much for watching goodbye